It is difficult to pinpoint historical events during the 2nd and 3rd centuries. These two centuries mark various processes of ecclesial development, such as ecclesial hierarchy, annihilation of Gnosticism, canonization of scripture, determining the date of Easter, etc. Let's begin with ecclesial hierarchy. Church unity meant to many early Christian thinkers that the believers gather around one bishop celebrating the one Eucharist with a choir of presbyters and deacons assisting him. The title bishop encompassed other roles and titles that were confirmed as ranks in the church in subsequent centuries, such as Mitropolitans or the bishop of a mother city or a capital, Chori Episcopos or a bishop in charge of a village. The role of the Chori Episcopos later becomes that of an auxiliary bishop who works in conjunction with a Metropolitan. Patriarchs, the head of a major see such as Alexandria or Antioch, and archbishops, who were similar to patriarchs but were not in charge of a major see. They usually had more than one bishop report to them. The title presbyter encompassed priests as we know them now, but also hieromonks, a monk who is also a priest, archpriests, archimandrite, or the head of a large monastery or group of monasteries, and hegemons, who was an elder priest, typically a monk in the past, who would take precedence among other priests or monks especially with regard to administrative matters. The title deacon included deacons, archdeacons, and protodeacons, who had precedence when serving with other deacons. Developing these roles certainly took much longer than the 2nd and 3rd centuries. However, the beginning of such development begins then, as we see in the writings of St. Ignatius of Antioch, who writes in his letters, You must follow the lead of the bishop as Jesus Christ followed that of the Father. Follow the presbyter as you would the apostles. Reverence the deacons as you would God's commandment. Wherever the bishop appears, there let the people be. Even as wheresoever Christ Jesus is, there is the Catholic Church. The clear difference we see here between bishops and presbyters was not present in the first century, where often the two titles were used interchangeably.